And welcome back, guys. It's Gord, and we're playing some Don't Starve. So, if you're watching the last episode, we were getting grass. <laughs> lots and lots of grass. So, we, uh, let's see. We're going to take some of this rot and see if we can finish off some of these vegetables here. We're not doing the greatest as far as hunger right now. I'd really like to, to be in a better position for... Oh, no, I did not just eat that. Oh, no, buddy, why'd you eat that? I didn't mean to eat that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that was gross. Don't ever eat rot, guys. That's, oh, ugh, ugh, can't believe I ate that. All right, <laughs> starting off to a great start here, just eating rot. Let's, uh, well, actually, we'll throw this down next to the campfire. Let's stick that there. That's our thermal stone. That'll be good for when winter comes. We're going to plant some of these uh, saplings here. I'm not sure where we're going to plant them. We'll plant them, I guess, near our crops, I guess. Let's plant a few of these. Do, 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 uh, do, do. Uh, can I just plant? Planting is a little bit finicky sometimes. Come on. Come on. Just plant. There we go. I'll probably end up moving these, or I don't know. Eventually, this is going to be a lot bigger of a twig farm. So. Oh, man. I just can't. I'm constantly starving, guys. Constantly starving. Let's, uh, I think we need to make our way out and gather just, like, a good portion of food. Like, a seriously large portion of food. I think the best way to do that is to, we need to explore an unexplored kind of uh, area. Let's go and explore. Hmm, there's actually not a lot of good places to explore. I do know, however, that uh, the pigs are hoarding a lot of berries and stuff. So let's go get some berries from them. Uh, we'll plant these trees later. Uh, we'll just have to eat handfuls of seeds <laughs> for now. Uh, but winter is coming. Winter is very close, like very soon going to be arriving, and uh, we're we're doing we're doing okay. We could be doing better. I'm doing okay. Uh, I'm not going to harvest these rabbits right yet, but. Um, They'll get harvested eventually, don't worry, don't worry. I really want to grab some food. I really want to... What else do I need to do for winter? I think I'm mostly prepared for winter. I think if anything now, I'm just trying to get my stuff together and think about what I'm going to spend my time during winter doing. Um, with the breezy vest, or sorry, the puffy vest, I have the luxury that I can move around a little bit more uh, than I'd normally be able to. Let's pick some of these berries. How many more berry bushes do we have around here? There's two more berry bushes up here. We'll grab those berries. Uh, nope, we won't because apparently they've already been picked. Let's, uh, we'll keep heading, we'll go down this way, see if there's any berries on those trees down there. Those trees. Berry trees, ladies and gentlemen. Berry trees. We'll see if there's any berries on those bushes. And, uh, we'll just see if we can live. I'm not, I'm not really a fan of our hunger situation right now. I think I spent a little too long exploring, a little, not quite enough time setting up renewable sources of food. Mind you, I, we can live off of rabbits pretty much the whole winter long. Um, there's, there's only one reason why you wouldn't want to uh, kill a bunch of rabbits all winter long, and that's because, you know, Krampus, Krampus can come down and kick your ass if you're being an asshole and killing rabbits, just like killing innocent creatures, like nonstop. But I don't think we'll, we'll need to kill that many that we'll, that we'll see an appearance of Krampus. Uh, in my experience, usually you have to go out of your way to try and, and kill that many innocent creatures that fast to get Krampus to show up. So I uh, don't think that'll be an issue we'll have to worry about. I don't think we're going to make it to the pig village in time. So I'm going to have to torch it the rest of the way. Now, the only reason I'm going to the pig village, which I guess it's probably not the smartest idea. I, I shouldn't really need to go all the way out this way just for food. Um, but, yeah, what can you do, right? What can you do? So we have a whole bunch of berries just up here. I really, actually, this is dumb. I really shouldn't have gone all the way out here just for food. But, 
I'm here now. We're gonna have lots of food. I'll be able to go home, put all these berries in the fridge, and uh, we'll, we'll make some stuff out of them. I think I'll, I'll grab some rabbits on the way home too, and uh, that should really give us a leg up as far as food goes. Oh, oh no, oh no. Alright. Yeah, I should really prepare myself better for the occasion when I don't have light. Uh, where exactly should we go? Let's, uh, let's see. We should go... Huh. Alright. I guess we'll head back home. We'll grab those rabbits on the way back home. And uh, when we get home, we'll just uh, we'll kind of chillax and we'll kind of do our thing and... Winter should be here any day, man. We'll uh, we'll see about building some more sciency stuff. We'll we'll maybe build a lightning rod so our base doesn't get struck by lightning. We might build some sort of uh, uh, weatherometer, maybe some sort of uh, rain onometer, <laughs> something that detects the rain. It, it's not really that useful in my opinion because, I mean, it's gonna rain whether you know it's gonna rain or not. <laughs> so. Knowing whether it's going to rain doesn't really help you, but uh, we could always build it just for shits and giggles. Alright, it's morning. It is a little bit frosty. There's some frost on the ground. That's uh, not pleasant. It's going to get cold soon. I don't think we're in any danger of freezing today. I think tomorrow's going to be the first day where we're going to be actually having to worry about freezing to death. So we'll make good use of this time. We're making our way back home. Damn it. I really should just be like filling up my health all at once. But I'm hoping if I can just manage to get home, I can make better use out of the food I've collected by throwing it in the crock pot. Maybe not be so wasteful. Also, if I can uh, get my hands on some of these rabbits, wring their necks, I can uh, make some better food when we get home. And uh, hopefully that should just help me out. We don't really need poop because it's winter. We're not going to be growing any crops, fertilized or not. So, let's grab some of these rabbits, which are now uh, snow, or snow rabbits, which is cool. And uh, there's actually not that many, there, there weren't that many rabbits waiting for us. Which is, uh, that's okay. Apparently one just got caught right here, just as we walked away. And same up here, look at that. So, we're going to be, let's see, can I, I'm going to eat this carrot just so that uh, A, I don't die, and B, I have enough room for it to put this rabbit in my inventory. So, we'll head back home. We will grab our winter gear, because we're going to be needing it now, now that it's uh, coming up on winter. We will cook up a nice meal with these rabbits, and uh, hopefully get ourselves all fed up. And, uh, I mean that in the good way. I mean, <laughs> so, get all, get all fed up and get our hunger going and we'll be good. This is, we'll be good. We're, we're doing good. Stick most of these rabbits in a chest here. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to just murder you outright. Actually, you know what? We're gonna murder all of them. Um, because <laughs> the ones we don't use for food, we're gonna put on the drying racks. Make some jerky. So we'll put two of these in here, and we'll join those with, uh, let's see, two berries. And over here, we'll stick uh, four berries in. Maybe, no, we'll save the durian fruit until it's just starting to go bad. We're going to have to eat these green caps soon, although our sanity really doesn't require it right now. Uh, eh, that, that's on the verge of going bad. I'm just going to eat it now. Max our sanity out. It's always good. Eat these meatballs. Awesome. Look at that hunger. We'll eat that. Nice. Fistful of jam. We'll do one more fistful of jam. And that should, uh... That should tide us over for quite some time now. Did any of our crops finish growing? Very nice. They all finished growing right before winter hit. So we're going to leave those crops there. It's going to be our just-in-case-of-emergency kind of fund. Please, oh please, penguins, don't make a camp on my base. This could be bad. One of the only disadvantage the only single disadvantage to uh, making your base close to water is uh, occasionally you can have penguins that decide they want to come up and uh, make a base on your base. I'm really hoping that these guys don't do that. Just keep walking. Keep walking. Sorry, keep moving, buddy. 
All right, they're, they're, they're far enough by now. I think they're going to go up a little ways more north. We're going to try and, and avoid walking too close to the edges of the map. That way we don't trigger more of them to spawn. Actually, it looks like, oh, look at that. It looks like it's showing up on the map where they're going to end up. So they're going to end up up here. So that's going to be well out of our way. That's cool. We're going to need to have this winter hat going. Uh, also, we're going to need this heat stone. And, uh, I think that's pretty much it for now. I, I'm not sure what else. We're, I'm not sure what we're going to do next. I'm not entirely sure. I'm trying to think of what we need. Uh, we definitely, I want to get a tent going. I definitely want to get some more stuff going that requires, uh, like, I want to mix a flower garden. I want to get some, a bee box going up so I can get some honey. Eventually, I'm going to want some, uh, some more farms. Uh, the winter is going to be basically just kind of doing chores that we, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that we can't do until summer comes, so... The winter is going to be kind of just chore time. <laughs> and, uh, see how that works out. So we have one more trap, which we'll take back up with us when we go to do that. In fact, we'll do that right now. We'll head back up and out, and we will set one more trap up there. And that should hopefully yield us some more rabbits when we do actually go to harvest rabbits. Oh, excuse me. And um, it should be good. Uh, eventually, I guess I, I guess throughout the winter, I could probably collect some more poop and uh, start actually having some sort of a grass farm set up at my home. Uh, that would be good. That'd be very good. Let's uh, let's actually grab all these rabbits that are that are just coming in now. And uh, not only that, uh, can I can you move, buddy? I'm trying to. All right. Let's uh, grab these rabbits and we'll grab. Uh, well, I guess we don't need to grab any more poop. What did we originally come out here for? Oh, that's right. We're going to place one more of these traps. And uh, so now we should have just a bunch of rabbits waiting for us every time we come back here, which is always good. Let's uh, we'll grab these couple pieces of poop. Eventually, I'm going to want to kill some beefalo. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, when we do actually go to kill some beefalo, it'll, it'll be a little easier than and a little... We'll be a little better off than we were the first time we tried. Um, it's possible to take on just an entire herd at once, but it's it's not easy. It's not easy at all. So we'll head back to base because we're fixing on freezing. Our uh, our thermal stone is slowly cooling down. We're gonna want to come back to base, throw something on the fire here, and uh, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw this half-assed broken log suit on the fire and then make another log suit. To replace it. That way we have a brand new log suit next time we get into trouble. We don't have to rely on a half-ass broken log suit. Stick all of these rabbits in the chest. We'll call this the murder chest. <laughs> and uh, we'll throw our thermal stone down here. Alright, so we have some fireflies kicking around our base. Let's catch these guys. And, uh... Nice. Nice. And nice. So now we have some fireflies. It's very cool. It's one of those kind of doesn't matter what season it is. You can always grab fireflies. It's always nice. We'll put the bug net away. We'll put the razor away too, actually. We don't need all that stuff. Uh, pretty sure that's good. What am I missing down here? I have uh, an axe. I have a shovel. I have a spear. Am I missing any tools? No, I guess not. All right. Actually, you know what I am missing? I'm missing torch, which should go there. There we go. OCD is happy now. So, light. What do we got here? We can make a miner's helmet with a straw hat and one more gold. So let's uh, we'll do that. We will do that. How do we make a straw hat? What do we need for a straw hat? We need a bunch more grass. Okay. So we'll we'll keep one gold on us. We'll keep one of these. We'll keep uh, one of these fireflies on us, and we'll go get some more uh, grass. Uh, looks like m the majority of the grass is going to be down here because we picked a lot of stuff clean up top. So, actually, right now while it's morning, let's, let's plant some trees. Uh, I'll plant them out and around up here. Uh, just now, as morning kicks in, cool. I'll plant some trees just up and around here. It should just keep us. Should give us some wood that we can gather on later on. And just kind of dot them around randomly. 
I'm not really too concerned of where they go. And uh, that should be, you know, that, that should be more than enough trees. Let's uh, leave that. Let's go get some grass. We'll make that miner's helmet. And then uh, I think we'll call it an episode. Uh, we'll get a game plan going for what's next. Uh, I want to definitely expand on the base. I want to definitely do a little bit more exploring, although exploring is kind of difficult, especially when you forget your heat stone at home, like I just did. <laughs> I'm definitely going to start freezing soon, so I really want to grab whatever grass I can and make my way back quickly. Um, there's quite a few things I want to get set up. I want to get set up just more renewable resources around my base. I want to be more prepared. Uh, I've totally forgotten. We really need to actually cut down a bunch of trees make a lot of log suits and a lot of um, a lot of helmets and we want to have a chest aside just for just to put three log suits and three helmets in and that is going to be our break in case of emergency chest and uh, let's just say there are some giant pain in the asses that can attack in winter and by giant I mean literally a giant will come and try and kill me and uh, if he does decide he wants to come and kill me, I want to be slightly prepared, and uh, the best way to do that is to have a good a good amount of uh, log armor and uh, football helmets just waiting and ready, and uh, that'll help us survive any encounters. Because honestly, at any point now, now that it's winter, uh, something. Uh, I'll, if you know what it is, then you're special. But if you don't, then you'll get to be surprised. That's why I'm not spoiling it. Something may or may not appear. And just like the ground will shake. It'll stomp its way towards us. And uh, it will kill us very quickly unless we're, un unless we're prepared. Not only will it kill us, but it will destroy our entire base stomping its way through it. So we need to very much be prepared for that kind of situation. It's not guaranteed to happen, guys, but uh, if it does happen and we're not prepared, that could be the end. So, <sighs> so we definitely need to get prepared. I'm going to make this mining helmet so that I have a better source of light come nighttime. Good thing about mining helmets is they are reusable and refuelable, so the durability runs out. All i got to do is stick another firefly in them. So we'll just stick that there. If night comes, we just swap this on and we have a nice uh, mining helmet. So we'll put another tuft on the fire here. And uh, let's see. I think tomorrow we'll focus on uh, gathering a little bit more of uh, some resources. Probably gather a little bit more poop and a little bit more grass so we can plant some grass close to our base. That way we don't have to wander out all the ways over there every time. We'll murder a couple more rabbits. And uh, we'll make our way. I think I think we're doing all right. <laughs> Again, I say I say that all the time when I don't really know what else to say about the game, but uh, I think we are. I think I think we're gonna manage. It's not always easy, guys. I don't mean to have that open. Let's uh, stick those in there, and let's make another fistful of jam. And while Wilson enjoys his dinner, I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys. Uh, end the episode off. Uh, as always, it's been Gord, and uh, you're watching Don't Starve. If you like the video, give it a like. If you love it, give it a favorite. If you want to see more, subscribe. Just tell everybody you know about it, and uh, yeah. Take it easy, guys. See you next episode.